Despite its merger and takeover talks that made world headlines recently, Canadian phone maker BlackBerry did not give up in reinventing new devices in the mobile phone ecosystem as it just launched the BlackBerry 9720. According to BlackBerry, the smartphone built for communication-centric experience is also designed for a premium look, available in a variety of vibrant colors packed with all favorite social media applications. The company says the device is already in the African market. Here is what phone dealers at the popular computer village market in Lagos have to say about the device. People are tired of seeing the same product at the same time. That was when we, have, we are having only about five. Raining. But when they produce a Q10, Z10, they, uh, people really appreciate the products and the markets change. The demand increase. But when we, when we had the information that they are going to produce 9720, we were all happy. We thought it's going to eat the market. But um, with the situation of thing, with the situation on grant, it's not selling at all. 9720, that's the board night. Yeah, there's a market yet. It's as keyboard. And the back really look like boot, but the front, as in the button, look like cuff. Part of the features of the BlackBerry 9720 is an updated BlackBerry 7OS, a BBM voice which lets you chat over Wi-Fi for free. I have not really assessed the phone, but all I know is it's 10.1 OS, the operating system like others. But you use a data plan, like not the BBM the others are using. I think that's one of the difference, like the Q5, the Q10 and the Z10, they use a data plan rather than the BIS. Although the phone has all of these features and more, but is the market as excited with the device as they were in the early days of the BlackBerry? Mm, it's a market, but the demand is very, very low. Very, very low. Another thing I say about the phone is a curved brand, and the screen is so small that for people because they want because the OS is 10.1, like the uh, the new Q5 and Q10, but the screen is so small, and something of a touch screen has to be a bigger, a wide screen. So I think that's one of the issues. The look that we are seeing on on internet, you know, on the net, if it's the same look. People will go for it because I like the way the shape. Yes. Will you buy it? Will you come and have money buy? Will you buy? It? Yeah, on one condition, I will buy, but I can't drop my Asha because I love Asha phones. Globally, BlackBerry continued to experience dwindling market share as the Android operating system remained king, with iOS and Windows also making huge impact in the mobile phone ecosystem. Analysts say BlackBerry's latest mobile phone may not make any difference. Next is a report on the Commonwealth Telecoms Forum holding in Nigeria. Over 20 ministers of communication and 225 delegates from the international scene are expected at the 2013 Commonwealth Telecoms Organization Forum, commonly known as a CTO Forum and Council Meeting Build for 7th to 11th in Abuja, the nation's capital. The yearly CTO Forum is a flagship event of the telecommunication organizations of Commonwealth countries designed to promote, facilitate and guide members in using ICTs to deliver effective development intervention. Now on behalf of the government and the people of Nigeria, the Ministry of Communication and the Nigerian Communication Commission, we are happy to announce that arrangements have been concluded to host the 2013 Commonwealth Telecommunication Organization Forum and Council Meeting in Africa. This event is being hosted by the federal government through the Ministry of Communication Technology while NCC is organizing the event with collaboration of CTO headquarters in London. Executive Vice Chairman of the NCC, Dr. Eugene Jua, who discloses in a media forum in Abuja, said the forum will highlight regional solutions to broadband infrastructure, revenue management and security challenges. Other focus areas would include cloud computing, 
policy formulation and regulatory actions towards efficient broadband deployment and implementation. The CTO Forum 2013 is a team innovation through broadband. We focus on how the Commonwealth countries will harness broadband to improve access to ICT and improve communications generally. The event is bringing governments, policymakers, regulators, service providers, investors, telecom fund administrators, and experts in the field of ICT to highlight regional solutions to broadband infrastructure, revenue management, and security challenges. The event is expected to host policymakers, regulators, service providers, investors, telecom fund administrators, and experts in the field of ICT and will include exhibitions and the 53rd Council meeting of the CTO. That is a show for the week and thanks for being with us. Please log on to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV for more reports from across Africa. And now back to Kakaki Studio. Hello, I'm Bayeru Agabib. As we face the new society driven by data and information, Cyber Africa provides you a trusted platform. Here we understand how telecoms, the internet and the media are redefining our world. From music to tourism, politics to business and education to governance. That's why Cyber Africa trusts you to trust us as we bring you the initiatives, the issues, the actors and the role of ICT in Africans' development. For details, log on to www.aitinfotechnetwork.com or email bayeragabi at aitinfotechnetwork.com or better still, reach AIT Head Marketing, Lagos or Abuja. Cyber Africa, connecting Africa with the new age at this time.